Our Bloomberg Business Week team had to take uh, do some digging around, no pun intended. <laughs> they found out that the boring company's tiny Las Vegas loop is all that's come of Musk's promise and his promises overall to build super fast mass transit hyperloops. Workers say its tunnels, meantime, are packed with chemical sludge. This is a story by Max Chafkin and Sarah McBride of our Bloomberg News team. Max is Bloomberg Business Week columnist, also a contributor to the Elon Inc. podcast, a new episode dropping tomorrow on the Bloomberg Terminal and on Bloomberg.com slash Elon Inc. Uh, Max is, is here it, in our Is it called the Sludge studios. episode? It's, yeah, well, it's, a, it's a Sludge special. Um, <laughs> since we talked about the Sludge, we got to start with the Sludge because it's it's actually kind of serious, pretty serious We're stuff. We're laughing, that, but yeah. It uh, causes some pretty bad health effects. Yeah, so I mean, the genesis of this story are these documents that we obtained, that Sarah McBride and I obtained um, from the state OSHA, uh, that's the Occupational Health and Safety Administration. Um, and it basically shows lots of complaints from workers about unsafe conditions, including this issue of like these toxic muck, uh, which the workers say they've had to wade through. Uh, the reason it's toxic, it's not its not necessarily like they're doing something that's totally outside the norms of tunneling. Um, the, these chemicals are, are sort of standard chemicals that are used, but the allegation from the workers is that corners are being cut, they're trying to move too fast, they're doing it on the cheap. You know, and the funny thing about this, or it's not really funny, but these are the things that Elon Musk has set out to do in so, to some extent, like the whole point of the boring company like many of Musk's companies, has been to cut unnecessary costs. The thing that we're hearing with this story, however, and I think you see echoes of this elsewhere in Elon Musk's empire, actually, is that they're not necessarily finding lots of innovations there. Mm -hmm. They're ultimately ending up with a normal tunneling company, essentially, uh, that happens to have a safety record that some would say is troubling. Okay, mm -hmm. so here's, here's what's a little puzzling to me, Max. Elon Musk is a guy who's literally putting chips in people's heads. He's doing something that only until SpaceX did it, uh, governments right. taking a whole of government approach could do. Um, we've been able to dig tunnels for transportation purposes for over a century. Why is he running into so much trouble here? So I think I wrote one of the first stories about this back in early 2017, talked to Elon Musk at the time about this. And and just to put a slightly different spin on what you what you just said and which which relates to this, which is that SpaceX is not the first company, not the first private company to build rockets, right? The 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 shuttle, all the things that NASA had done were built by government contractors. Right. Um, but what, I guess what I'm saying is they're yeah. he's doing it in a way that is really innovative. I mean, well, yeah, 100 percent. Very much. Reusable stuff is that was a real innovative. Innovation contracting process. They, they used contracts. They sold them directly to the government at a fixed price, which was new. Um, but the, one of the core things that SpaceX did was like go out and look for existing technology and find a way to approve, improve on it and do it cost effectively. Now, there are a lot of potential inefficiencies in the world of aerospace, and Musk has had a much harder time in some other fields, finding similar sort of levels of inefficiency, just sort of low hanging fruit. And I think the tunneling example is one, you know, he talked about back in 2017, he talked, you know, it, it costs a billion dollars a year and it, it takes like takes a mile, it takes a year to dig a mile and it costs like a billion dollars a mile or some, some very large figure like that. And now Boring is doing maybe a little better on cost, although it's hard to know. But when you look at the actual pace that they're going, it's basically a mile a year. It's, it's not that much faster uh, than, than existing tunneling projects. And when you look at the end result, we're not talking about mass transit. We're not talking about, you know, big subway cars full of people, which is actually what many people in Las Vegas, you know, would have hoped for because um, traffic there is really bad. What we're talking about are Teslas, just normal cars that can take three people and a driver. They're not even driverless um, and, and they're limited to, to 40 miles an hour. So we're so far away from the kind of grand visions. And just to remind people, um, what Elon Musk originally promised here was New York to D.C in 29 minutes San Francisco Sign to Los Angeles <laughs> yeah in 35 sounds awesome you could right. commute from you know you could like commute halfway across the country um, and and you know it just hasn't gone that way and I and I think you know in all sorts of different ways across Elon Musk's empire you're seeing maybe fissures cracks ways in which the promises are not necessarily um, matching up you know we we saw this ruling with pay uh, in Delaware you know of, of course lots of do problems documented at at X slash Twitter um, and here you just have like a very visceral way where you have these grand promises and in the end what you have is basically a glorified shuttle bus system it doesn't take you you know from one end of the country to the other it takes you to, from one end of the Las Vegas well, Convention Center to the can, other 